Hello guys, long time no see. In our last video, we shared the assets in Paragon and how to use them. What I think is that once you know this, you can learn a lot about materials and visual effects. I can also focus on my own work. However, there are indeed many bugs in the plugin. Cascade to Negra and I often receive some questions about this. It's too difficult to reply to each other, so I complete my work and we will continue to make videos to learn about Negra and material. Of course, I will also use Negra to remaster the Paragon's visual effect and share with everyone. Okay, in this video, let's make a very simple glow effect which we often use. We can see that in the example map. Okay, let's start it. First, let's create a glow material and change blend mode to additive shading model and lead also to set it. Then let's add a text card and a sphere mask. Connect text card to A and B means the center of the circle. So we can use a constant 0.5 to connect it. And the radius is also 0.5. Okay, we get a circle. Then change its hardness to 0. We can see it have a simple transition effect on the edge. Yes, looks like a glow. Then we can power it. The exponent, we can change it to 3. Yes, it looks better. Now, let's copy sphere mask and power. Also, we connect test card and 0 0.5. But this time, the radius is 0 0.3. Hardness is also 0. The exponent, we can change it to 20. Okay, this is a smaller and brighter glow effect. Then multiply them by a constant to control their brightness. The large one, we can multiply it by 0.05. Yes, it looks darker. And the small one, we can multiply it by maybe 3. Okay, it looks a little brighter. Then add them we can get a basic glowing effect. We can take a look. Yes, it looks great. Then we multiply it by the alpha in particle color to control the opacity of the material. Then let's add a depth speed and connect them. Yes, this is our opacity. Uh, of course, we also need a particle color to control its emissive color. Okay, it looks good. Then let's add a flicker to it. We can use time, sign, and constant bell scale to make the value loop between 0 and 1. Yes, we can see the flicker effect. Its frequency may be a bit slow, we can multiply it by a constant to control its frequency. Maybe 10. Okay, it looks great. Let's save the material. Now, let's create a Niagara system. First, in Spirit Render, apply the material we just created. And then in the emitter update, we need to change its life cycle to self. Infinity and 1 is OK. Then let's add a spawn burst in emitter update. OK, we can see the particle effect of our material in Niagara. Then let's change initial light particle in particle spawn. Lifetime is shorter one. 
maybe 0 0.25 and color we can direct site or we can use user parameters this make it easier for us to change the color add a linear color default color we can use a purple 10 1 10 okay then in split size we can select non-uniform and also add a user parameter to control it add a vector to d and rename it to size Default value we can set it to 200 Okay, and then in particle update, we can set a scaling, scale split size and scale color. Scale split size, we just need 0 to 1 to 0, and when k data is 0 0.2, the value is 1. Okay. And scale color, we can control its curve for each channel. Vector from curve. First, let's set the R channel. At begin, we can set the value is larger. Maybe 10. And in 0.2, we can set the value is 0 0.5 in the end we can set the value is 0 we also need to change the mode of the curve so that it will only become negative after 0 0.2 which means that the scaling on the R channel will not take effect later so it will show the effect of two colors G and B channel are same, but this time we need to change the curve so that it can receive changes in the G and B channels. Make sure our values on the curve are positive. Okay, that's scale color. Uh, right, we also need to change scale alpha. Just a curve by default 1 to 0. Okay, we have completed this effect. I think it's good. Simple but very useful. In the end, we rename its emitter to glow and let's save the negra. Okay, let's see it in the level. We can also copy this Niagara and change its size. X, we can change it to 600 and Y, we can change it to 20. Yeah, it looks also great. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.